I think there's something in us that really reveres someone that can kind of turn things around. People were telling these jack tales that you hear in the mountains now over in England, Ireland, and Scotland. A lot of those folks packed up their trunks and quilts and headed across the oceans. They also brought their stories. The stories changed just a little bit. There's a, a, a bit of a rougher edge to the mountain versions of some of these stories. But I'm going to tell you one that I first heard from Ray. Well, once there was a fella named Jack. Now, this was a different Jack than the one we've been telling you about today. There's a shortage of everything in the mountains, including names. <laughs> this fella, he's a, he's a big, stout-like boy, and they called him Big Jack. Well, work got mighty hard to find down where Big Jack was, pretty much like today for a lot of folks. And Big Jack decided he was going to go out and seek his fortune. So he got some wood in for his mama, dug up some potatoes, and told her goodbye and headed on off down the road. Now, he walked for a good ways. Boy, he'd worked up an appetite, too. He was hoping he'd find some work that night. He come to where a king lived. He went up and knocked on the door. King opened it, and Big Jack said he was looking for a, a job of work. King said, are you a good hand to herd sheep? Big Jack said he, he reckoned he was. King said, well, I got this here contract. Anybody works for me has to sign it. It says here that the first one of us that gets mad is going to get three strops, three strips cut out of his back long enough to make shoestrings. Does that suit you all right? Well, Big Jack didn't like the sound of that, but he needed the work, and he said he reckoned it did, and so Big Jack signed up his name, and King signed up his name, and King sent Big Jack upstairs to bed without any supper. Well, the next morning, first thing, King hollered him out. Oh, there, Big Jack, come on downstairs. Big Jack came downstairs, and King didn't say a word about breakfast. Just took him right out to the corral, right next to the barn there where all those sheep were. The king, he opened that gate, and he started herding those sheep out, counted them up until he got all the way up to 99, 100. Now, Big Jack, you take these sheep on out to pasture. Well, that's what Big Jack did. He picked about, found him a few little berries, and boy, he's hungry, though. Got back in that evening, the king stood there counting, got all the way up to 100. You done good, Big Jack, now go on upstairs to bed. No mention about supper. Well, this went on for three days. Big Jack is about to starve. That third day, he come in with the sheep. King stood there counting them. 98, 99, 100. You done good, Big Jack. You going upstairs to bed. Big Jack said, King, ain't you going to give me nothing to eat? 